airline thing where you line up 20 people and then you're like, sorry, no seats. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the one time I did that, I, I had everyone in the game because I expected like three to drop, but no one dropped, so I ran a game with like nine players, which is kind of funny. <laughs> that's, that's my hell. I would thing. shoot myself because I've done that before and it's awful. Yeah, I, yeah. So because this shit always fucking happens where someone's like this bullshit. All right. Anyways, um, let's do a recap of what happened last session. Uh, we were wonderful, mostly me. We found a crab. We ran away from the crab. We killed some guys. We killed some more guys. We climbed a cliff. Nearly died. We met a witch. She was kind of an asshole. But shame on um, my life. Her. I'm shocked you didn't burn down her hut, but <clears throat> yeah, then we made it where we were going. It was great. All right. So all of you have found yourselves within the last several months within Fletcher's Rest, acquiring a new lifestyle. For whatever reason, all of you had to travel to this destination, kind of on the outskirts of not really the outskirts of civilizations, but it's definitely far enough away from any major cities. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, good grief. I'm shocking. So, <laughs> arriving to Fletcher's Rest was a bit of a task. You were waylaid by bandits, and then you're able to trek through the wilderness around Fletcher's Rest. So you eventually arrived at the town where you have been for, as I mentioned, the last several months, acquiring um, new skills along the way. Because you went through an ordeal as a group, as possible companions, that most people would either be too traumatized to go through, or they would just die from that experience. But you three pulled yourselves through it. And because of it, it made yourselves much, much stronger. So... We come to today's game. Quickly. For the time you've been training with Inflictor's Rest, what have you three been doing? This can be as vague as you want, or it can be a little bit detailed, but try to keep it a little bit short so we can uh, move on to the main thing of today's game. Doing what Donovan tells him to. Sitting in the woods, looking at pretty things. Taking nice long walks and looking at trees and sunsets and all kinds of things. So much power. Who else did things? Come on, people. <laughs> Let's keep it going. I worked for the local church in uh, London. There was a priest there who learned magic and how to read and write the uh, high archaic. That's all? I mean, I can set you on fire with my mind from 30 feet away. Well, I mean, that's, that's all. <laughs> do you have more to say or is it my turn? That's it. That's it. So go for it. Okay. I uh, got involved in what political uh, in the, uh, society there is at Fletcher's Rest, while also um, getting better at um, more subtle food. <laughs> Can someone say that word for me, please? No, we got it. Let's start a future. We got it. Yeah, that, thanks. Uh, that's basically what I did. All right. So, being acclimated a bit to the region, you haven't really ventured too far out. Um, for all intents and purposes, you have all resided within the confines of Fletcher's Rest. But in the amount of time you've been here, you got to know... Uh, various people, the makeup of Fletcher's Rest is a very, very small town itself, but as well as local rumors. Now, obviously, the bandits have not been completely dealt with, and on occasion, you hear, you even see the occasional wagon car or traveler refugee coming into Fletcher's Rest from just the turmoil in the kingdom, and they themselves have stories about the odd sights and the odd sounds around Fletcher's Rest and the travel to here, and there's been a couple times where a wagon was expected for a trade or goods that never arrived. And a couple of people from Fletcher's Rest goes out to investigate following the road where they do come across 
well, the raider camp. Not the raider camp, sorry. They come across the 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 battlefield where the raiders waylaid a wagon. Similar to what happened to your situation. Unfortunately, it does seem that the people that were at those wagons have perished. Mm. So, what we got today is a couple things. You find yourselves the three... And I'm just going to go assume, just because the way the game is, you're going to be friends at this point. Um, so, at one evening, you're going to find yourselves inside one of the taverns in Fletcher's Rest. And enjoying a drink, maybe winding down from the day's activities, from your various means of professions, when the local gossip mill kind of enacts inside the... Damn, my mic... Sorry, I've had to try my mic yesterday, so I did break out. If I muted one of you, or sorry, if I scared one of you, I apologize. I was terrified. I'm sorry. You have my sincerest apologies. I need, where's my notes? A couple things. You hear one of the local bakers with the Fletcher's wrist. His name is Galvin. Dick. Yes, his name is Galvin. He doesn't have a last name. People ask him, but Galvin goes, I don't want to mention my last name. If I mention it, you will know who I am. But <laughs> listen to Galvin talk to with another another local uh, village with Fletcher's Rest. Galvin's going, Damn it. These damn bandits have been taking all of our stuff, all our supplies. I've been waiting for this past week for some grain, some flour, but eh, by blasted gods, it's not arrived yet. And this Okay. Alright. Money to buy a new headset. Um, yeah, the conversation in the local tavern is how people are just kind of fed up with the bandits and how no one's really taken care of them, how no one's really gone and been able to handle them. There's been a couple people, especially after the events of you three returning um, or finding Fletcher's Rest for the first time, um, a couple people did set out to try to find the bandit camp, but they returned empty handed, could not find, they themselves couldn't even find the bandits. They weren't attacked. They just couldn't find anyone, but it's still out there. And so, one of the local... Uh, Gelvin was the baker. So, another spry individual. We'll call him... Luwinda. Oh, Luwinda. Luwinda is... What profession does Luwinda have? Someone tell me. She's a witch? Okay. Oh, I mean, what's her, what's her actual job? No. Oh, no, she's a baker. She's a fucking baker. The uh, winner's though is the wife of Gelvin, apparently. All right. <laughs> no, it's my wife. Okay, so Luinda and Gelvin are talking with each other, and even Luinda goes. Luinda actually points at your table, the three of you, and goes, "What about them? They returned here a few months ago. They survived. Why don't they go out and try to earn their place here within Fletcher's Rest?" And even Gelvin goes, "Quite down, Luinda." They've earned their place here. They've, they've been a fair contribution to our little town. Yep. And she's not buying it. Luna L- 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 is a gossip. She likes to talk about people. What a hoe. <laughs> Apparently she's a hoe. Yo. She likes to sleep, she likes to sleep around. <laughs> that is now canon. All right. So apparently Gilman does not know. But Donovan <laughs> does know that Luna yeah. likes to sleep around somehow. That information was, was what? found out. What? What? <laughs> He called her a hose for making her a hose. Damn, so, okay. Look at this power I have. Zalbar, you hoe. <laughs> Zalbar's a prostitute hoe. now. No, He's no. a bad prostitute. You can't control players, but you can control um, people. But then even a couple more people actually kind of agree with Luinda. They don't really say anything, but you notice a couple people kind of put their drinks down and they look in your direction. They nod their heads in agreement with Luinda. But she herself is too much of a meager person to approach you to tell you, go solve this problem for the town. 
But here's the interesting thing. Over the course of learning about the individuals within Fletcher's Rest, everyone here is damaged in a way. Everyone here has their own reasons for being here. But no one here, as I mentioned, has survived what you have. No one here has gone through your ordeal, and no one quite seems to be up to the task that has been presented. Um, you think about it, you kind of maybe at one point have a bit of a conversation. Maybe you wanted a revenge. Maybe you wanted to get a, a stab back at the almost ruination of your starting lives. And you kind of all figured, we might actually be the strongest people here. Now, there's the obviously the old grizzled veteran who could probably beat the hell out of one of you in a fist fight, but he's got a gimp leg. He can't go out and do some stuff. So there's definitely town defenders within Fletcher's Rest, but there's no there's no adventurers. There's no people to go out and do things. Well, they mock us. Mm. All right, so now we've got that set up uh, because we're still going to go using this map a little bit. We're now going to set up the other thing, the other fun little aspect. This is going to be the actual novice thing for the game. Um, the local rumors around Fletcher's Rest among the raiders is that of the witch you all met and how she was driven out from Fletcher's Rest because of her magical powers of healing and just spells that no one really cared to like about, considering her a witch. But there is talk of the old cottage by the road to the south that is home to the crazed old angry lumberjack that everyone says to stay away from. Local stories, children are told that this man is evil, vicious, and any children that run out at night and don't come home in time will be killed and slain. But there's another rumor that has spread out that has kind of gathered your attention. And that is of... Stokesa Island. Stokesa Island has a bit of a small rumor that of a, a local baron that had a keep on Stoseca. And he was a wealthy, wealthy individual that did actually go and acquired vast amounts of wealth. And he himself was slain years and years, years ago, but that his wealth is still rumored to be at Stoseca Island. But being the people of Fletcher's Rest, no one's really gone and investigated that because, well, they're scared to go into the woods themselves and Apparently, Stoseca would be far, excuse me, far to the west, following the river. And so people generally tend to just make nice stories and dream about if they were to go and possibly find the, the riches of the Baron of Stoseca Island. Or Stokesa Island. So, we bring ourselves to today's game, as I mentioned probably for fourth time already. You're at the table, you've been hearing these kind of rumor gossip mills around. You most likely have been finding your time with the Fletcher's Rest maybe pleasant, but maybe a little bit boring as you're trying to get accustomed to this new lifestyle um, and just hearing, just thinking about what the rest of the Empire is going through and all their exploits and all their dealings. So, the question I have for the three of you, what interests you? You have the you have the pool, you have the calling a little bit that maybe we can do something more with our lives. Maybe there's something that's better than just being um, a standard person in this world. Yeah. So, so just to real quick clear up the options, it was Lumberjack Boy, who's spooky and people think is like a terrifying murder man, and then an old keep of like some duke? Uh, yes, it was a baron. 
um, a baron of, Stoc- okay. of Stokesa Island and his riches that are plundered and buried there. But no one's but was too afraid to like go a, there. Was he a bad person? Well, you start thinking about that, and so that could be something we can do some rules in game to find out. Because we do actually have a bit of a, uh, I believe, royalty in this group. Or nobility. You mean me? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, you're a politician. I'd still be on the same. You'd be He's a little a more... He's a student. But you'd still be more knowledgeable about the situation than anyone else. Okay. I would, yeah. So why don't we take a look and see what you know? Uh, um, I have to decide this character now. What? I, I, I didn't get what you meant. Oh, roll... We're saying that you would be the one who would know about these yeah, things. Yeah, so do some investigation right. of this guy. Because uh, maybe maybe the, the, the mention of wealth might be triggers your ears. But also, like, there, there's a chance he's heard of him. So would yes, you say that's that a big thing. on his profession, so he would have him. reason to roll intellect? See if he knows what he knows? You know what? I'm just going to give it to you because you're a politician. Because you might know. All right. Don't so. him. <laughs> So, Stokesa Island, um, even though I might be pronouncing it wrong, but that's what I'm going with because Stokesa sounds kind of weird to me. Uh, Stokesa Island is actually named after you actually know this, Zalbar. You actually come across this name before in your studies from maybe not in Fletcher's Rest, but in the town you all came from. Stokesa Island is actually named after. Hello? Yep, type in. Is named after ah. Baron Afton Stokesa. And this was a aristocrat that was had a bit of controversy to his name. And that his family was acquired wealth and power because they actually plied the trade routes as pirates and claimed themselves to be kings and barons. But with the wealth, um, after it was actually able to successfully acquire an island in an undesignated part of the empire that no one really knew about, the records of it were lost. And he, having this empire, ruled with an iron fist for his land for a while before he was killed in a, a hunt. And what gets your attention is you knew the name of Baron Afton, Stokesa, and then hearing about a Stokesa island in Fletcher's Rest might pique your interest because of his fabled treasure he had for being a pirate. So he was a, he was a pirate. Yes, and he kind of claimed himself and his name and his family um, that. Well, he wasn't pretty sorry. He, I mean, go a bit of a correction. Um, he had a bit of knowledge in that, but his ancestors were the ones that were the pirates that claimed themselves the titles. He's the last but one he, of the Stokesa Island. But he himself, family. he himself wasn't a bastard. No. Okay. But his uh, wealth came then, from his family. Then, if if all this information is shared, Legion is just gonna kind of go uh, Donovan. We do not like that the children are frightened. Hang on. Uh, just to clarify, when you said the rule with the Iron Fist, you meant the uh, Afton Stokesa? Uh, his family did. Um, Stokesa uh. tried for a little bit, but he was killed um, at a fairly young age. Um, well, how... How did he rule in that case? Did he rule harshly? Was he a cruel person or what? The rumor was he was cruel. He had a bit of influence in Fletcher's Rest because it was slightly nearby and he wanted to influence Fletcher's Rest. But before anything was ever made to deal or any situations arose from it, he was killed. And him being the last of the Stokesta family, they kind of just fell away into obscurity. Hmm. I'm just wondering if he was a cool person, maybe he's still there. Ah. As a ghost. So, someone overhears you. 
as just maybe have a bit of conversation, maybe a little bit loud, maybe you're drinking a little bit, and so you're a little bit uh, more loose with your tongue than normal. But a couple of people that you've, you've come accustomed to in Fletcher's Rest goes, Ah, you've heard about the Stokessa ghost also, have you? Yeah, my brother swore he saw that damned ghost years ago when he was traveling through the woods out of the farm to the west. Claimed he saw it as blue as ice. Scared the bejesus out of him. But I will say from that event, he's never gone back into the forest after nightfall. Interesting. Um, where is your brother now? Ah, uh, dear boy, he passed away about two years ago from the fever. But if you ask around town, there'd be a couple people that, uh, he's not the only one that saw this. Uh, there's a few people here. Actually, I do think, uh, Renger, the blacksmith, uh, also came across him at one point. Thank you, my friend, and I'm sorry for your loss. Ah, uh, thank you, thank you. Toast to his life, short as it was, and he drinks back, uh, a flagon of that. Uh, but, uh, where did Paris go? He said he'd be right back. Hmm. Paris just a fallen robot. What would you two like to do? The, uh, the guy to the south, the woodsman, seems a bit more pressing matter. He actually is dead. We don't know if the ghost exists or if the gold exists. That's just rumor stories. No evidence, but we know the woodsman is there. And this will refer to the locals. I can't hear half of what you're saying. You're so low. Yeah, you're pretty low there. Is that better? That's a little bit. Yes. Right, so what'd you I, say, uh, Jericho? Oh yes, the, the woodsman is more of a threat to the locals, so... Despite their, uh... uh alienation of good people. Well, I guess we can't have... Uh, I guess the... Your pet of legions what, uh, would be the woodsman? If he was allowed to vote? Likely. And I'm voting for the woodsman as well. Okay. Then you accept? That's why I just said okay. Excellent. Woodsman it is. Alright. So... Trying to... Maybe relive some of that excitement that, although it was mainly 98% fear, maybe it was that 2% excitement, that adrenaline, um, when you survived your tell back to Fletcher's Rest, that kind of drives you to, let's do some investigation, let's go and see what this, uh, this woodcutter is all about. And so... Deciding to head out probably in the morning the next day to investigate and find this old cottage. You prepare for the night, prepare thinking about what's going to go on, and then acquire any things you might need for the journey ahead. So, um, I'm going to ask the three of you, is there anything you wish to do for the nighttime or acquire in the morning um, before we head off in our first little, the first little adventure of the potential heroes of Fletcher's Rest. Would uh, spending the night affect us uh, during the day? Like if you don't sleep? Um, it depends on what you do. I mean, I'm gonna assume you're gonna sleep at some point. Uh, you're in Fletcher's Rest, so it's gonna be nothing that's gonna, like ambush you to make you not sleep. But if like head out right now, then possibly yeah. Yeah, because I think I just. Walk around town trying to get the information, eavesdrop, you know, that sort of things. Okay. We can actually, I did just kind of assume it was nighttime. So we can say it's maybe a little bit past midday. 
um, or maybe it's a few hours before dusk. So shops are still open, businesses are still open. So there's, there's a small amount of time to acquire any goods if you want, um, or any rumors, gossip if you would so like, um, and then we can head off right in the morning. Well then, what could I get for this nine copper? Hmm. I guess you might have acquired some wealth by doing your active duties within this, so I will say I'll do this. Um, to see how well you have done, everyone go ahead and roll me a d4 at minus one. <laughs> so, what you, what you managed to amass um, over the several months is one silver. Uh, what's the conversion rate, by the way? It's like uh, one silver, it's, ten it's ten, copper? Pretty sure it's ten to one. Yep. Okay. So you both can gain one silver. Oh, boy. Well, that's more than tw uh, double my wealth for it, though. So... I'm Which again me. might draw your attention to the Baron because his rumored treasure. The rumor, yes. They yes the rumor. The souls of the locals that uh, deal your wealth. Uh, equipment. Uh, what do we need, like um, consumables? Do we? Uh, so typically, Shadows of the Demon Lord isn't really a hex crawl, even though the start adventure I did was. Um, so I would say I'm not going to make it too relevant unless you get, like, actively lost or, like, stuck for an extended period of time. Okay. Mm. Or I'd say at least buy it, maybe at least, like, a couple rations, just to have it on you. Um, I... Shouldn't I have a piece of armor that uh, required 11 strength to use? You did, yep. Yeah, yep, but yeah. I don't see it in my inventory. You sold it for booze and woman. <laughs> I didn't know. Right, I did you, not. You find it in the notes and all uh, the items and I'll give it to you. Uh, yeah, there was, I believe, a split mail. Uh, split mail? Was it split? Was, what was it they had? It, it was the... No, uh, deep. Bring the, yes, that... I mean, if it's split mail, I'll take some split mail. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just stole it from Jericho. Yep. Oh. <laughs> well, he doesn't need it. <laughs> uh, there actually isn't split mail in the game. Ooh, torturous tools. That torturous tools. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, he does work for the church. It, right. It's natural for them to. Have there you go. It's inventory now. Uh, Aragorn. Thank you very much. You are welcome. Uh, I can't afford torturous tools. Where will the bears go? Um, his sister and uh, her girlfriend just uh, showed up. So I'm guessing he's um, taking care of that. I, he can't just let them join and he, <coughs> yeah, he will be that. a legion. <laughs> you know, you could let them join, then you actually be a legion. That's no. <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of going to be dipping out for the in and out for the rest of the time, and I'm very sorry about that. I forgot this was a thing that was happening. Uh, Man, just can't get us with game going. I'm sorry. No, no, dude, it's fine. I didn't worry about it. I mean, um, yeah. you have I've to do um, life, life. You have to do um, D four with a minus one. Uh, it's it's probably not going to be that bad no, from now on. It's probably just going to be like dipping out for. I a think minute. it's kind of funny they got my shit finally settled and anything else goes haywire. I'm sorry. Dude, it's it's I'm, day. If I was that angry, but, uh, I would boot you like I did the guy. Don't worry about it. So. I have to roll a d4 minus one? Yes. Yep. It's how much silver you saved up in the last several months. Oh, uh, just can, slash, I just slash die. Zero? 
Can I just take Oops. zero automatically? Because I wouldn't no. have made any money. Okay. You made money for me. Yeah, it's slash die. Watch. Oh, it's slash die. Slash die, 1d4 minus 1. Or just roll, yeah. You oh, acquired man. two silver! I picked up two two shiny coins off the floor and I said, Donovan, can I keep them? Cool. Or can we keep them? But I, will you um, hold them for us? <laughs> sure. Uh, Thank Don. you, Donovan. <laughs> you... <laughs> Donovan is my dad now. <laughs> uh, um, Donovan, you yeah. took a large shield for one uh, silver. I already have one. Ah, you do. I'm gonna buy a horse. A horse? What if instead I got a decent weapon? I mean, I, I earned a silver, so I'm gonna... I have some cash, I'll spend two silver to buy myself a horse. Zoink, Scooby. You still have two silver, eight copper. Oh yeah, because Donovan is holding my money for me. Yep. Okay. Were they eight coppers or eight bits? Coppers. Oh man, I'm rich. Plus I have that gold in my pocket. So I got a knife, so maybe I should get something um, better than the knife? Let's see, what can I afford? A spear. I already have an axe. Yeah. So, the, I mean, it's five silver for the next upgrade. Uh, um, let's see. I could get, okay. like, a glaive or a halberd, but that's probably not worth that's it. That's a gold coin. I oh, have no. a gold coin. How the hell do you have a gold coin? I found it, remember? <laughs> no. You lucky bastard. Oh, yeah, in the river. Yeah. Yeah, hers just was like, here's a gold coin, have fun. Um, what does finesse property mean? You can use your agility to attack with it. You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? Buy a uh, sword. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, Hursk, is there anybody in town who, uh, who, like, makes weaponry? Ah, uh, that would belong to Rengar the blacksmith, the local dwarf. Okay, so, so one day when, when, um, when Legion and, and uh, Donovan are just kind of, like, walking through town, they probably walk past the place. And uh, Legion just kind of like stops and looks at the stall for a while, and then like tugs at Donovan's pant leg. <laughs> Donovan. Ah. Yes. You're very quiet. We noticed that previously, our combat skills were not up to par. Could we perhaps invest in improving them? You have a shiny gold coin for just whatever you'd like. <laughs> Legion just kind of like looks up at him, and even though there's like no facial expression, he looks like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> but at the same time, there's like a there's like a moment where he's like, "Oh wait, why am I excited about this?" It looks a little sad. Like, but will will you help us? Thank you, Donovan. Uh, what's a hatch? Uh, it's like a hand axe. Ah. Uh. Oh, no, let's be a one-handed axe here. So yeah, Legion and Donovan go in. I assume Donovan's like, let's get you a big, thick sword. Unless you want a shield and weapon. Um, I already have 14 armor, though. 15. Or 16. You can't carry a large shield. Oh, that's right. I hate that. It's not a little. worth it. Could, it's not worth should it. I get the hatchet and the small shield? The hatchet's pretty bad. Hatchet is yeah, pretty bad. I got bad. the knife. So they're equally bad. The bad hatchet... The hatchet can, can also be thrown. In fact, a dagger is better than a hatchet. Is it? Yep. Yeah, probably because I'm a rogue. No. They have the exact same traits and damage, but the dagger has finesse. Oh, which is better for you. Yeah. Right, uh, that's better for me. Yes, you have a higher you have agility. A good strength. Agility? Oh my god. Do you have good... No, no, his strength is higher now. He, he raised oh, up his, uh, from level oh. up. You are a yeah, weird the... rogue. <laughs> you should probably... How much money do you have to spend? No, I mean, they're the exact same. They both do 1 3 damage, they're offhand weapons, and they have thrown and range short. So the That's just one of them also has finesse. But how much yeah. money do you have? Um, 1 silver, 9 copper. Buy an axe. 
Yeah, Binance. They, or a they sphere. Cost, because that's finesse. So you don't have to use a finesse trait. I, then then well, how do I use it in that case? If you know what you I mean. Use it normally. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, buy yourself an X. It's a D6 plus one and it costs a silver. And then a small shield is five coppers. So. Where do you see that? Go to the there, weapon there, there. shard. I see it now. Oh wait, or I could buy mail armor. I'm not gonna buy mail armor. I'm gonna so, stick with my bastard sword. There's again, again, axe and a small shield. You could buy me mail armor. <laughs> no, I can't. I spent my shiny gold coin. Oh. <laughs> he actually looks really sad when he hands over the coin. He's like, "Here you go, sir." <laughs> For, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, actually, I would say ooh, the rarity would hammer. actually not be around here right now. Ah, savage. Yeah, so anything that's rare uh, wouldn't be available right now. Yeah, because um, Fetch just said... Uh, yeah, Damn place. you, Hursk! Sorry! And, no, I'm not sorry, I'm the GM. Uh, Damn you, are <laughs> Isn't that correct? Like, uh, supplies is kind of oh, dodgy. Oh, wait, a bastard case. sword is a one-handed weapon if you have 13 or higher strength? Yep. That's silly. <laughs> I love it. Oh, wow. Well, um, interesting. That's my next um, upgrade. <laughs> yeah. I like one act and one small shield, please. Yes, sir. Hmm. A mace is a straight downgrade for me. I mean, it does 1d6 plus 2, doesn't it? Deals 1d6. Oh, oh we'd want to get you a battle axe, yeah. I'll go back in a sec. We'd probably um, want to get me a battle so, axe, because I think okay. I just have a regular axe right now. As an option, I could sell my brigandine. So, if you're willing to buy me mail, I could sell my brigandine. There's, no, we, we don't have mail. Mail is uncommon. Oh, mail. Oh, yeah, I see. Uh, but that gives two and a half silver. Uh, in total, which that, that would give you the five silver you need to get any other the weapons that actually do damage. I mean, I also still just have the gold coin. It's just that you also want mail. I do. <laughs> because I get hit a lot. Here's the thing. I mean, like, Legion trusts Donovan with his finances, so if Donovan wants to take advantage of him... I will not take advantage of him. The sweet little bop. Uh, but... Uh, probably I just want to get a battle axe then. Yeah, because I can't afford anything better than a battle axe. Actually, why don't we do the buy you mail, I get a battle axe. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, I, I do still have, if I don't get the horse, I can get... Actually, there's no point for me getting a horse because you guys are gonna be slow. Yeah, there's the horse is useless. Um, I'm just gonna buy. Yeah, so so uh, Legion just like hands over the gold and tells Donovan to keep himself safe. Okay, so I will buy mail armor, sell my brigandine, and then. Um, so this where are the shields at? So, there it is. All right. So I've got about five silver you can use. Five silver? Uh, that's perfect. I just want a battle axe. Okay. Uh, do you want a small shield? I already have a small shield. Okay. So battle axe. So I will take off. <coughs> so I no longer have money. Every I time have, I, I hit enter. Every time I hit enter on the inventory page, a new unidentified item pops up. Yeah, that was coming unidentified. Unidentified. Okay. Oh boy, defense of 17. Defense 15. And I basically can't be killed. <laughs> well, I have healing now, too. Man, you don't even <laughs> have to heal me. Well, no, it's great. I heal you. It heals me, too. Well, it's, well that may be true. If I go down to zero, I become an object. And then you just turn my key and I'm alive again. Actually, I'm even tempted to... If I pick up like a halberd, I can fight behind you. That way you can take more hits and I can hit people and heal you from the back row. However, 
We just bought you mail armor. I know, and I'm not a tanky boy. I know. Yeah. Uh, do you add the? Like, I think I probably sense? have more health. I think I have more health than you because I have a whole pile, but I only I have, have defense fifteen. I have seventeen. You have um, 17 health or 17 yeah. defense? Health. How do you have more health than I do? Uh, I have a strength of 12. I have a strength of 13. Oh, do you add your strength mod? Uh, let me make sure. Because if you do, I have 19 health. Why did my defense go up to 14? Because you had the brigadine and you had the shield? Yes, and I was at the... Wow, my bit. Because breaking is thirteen and the shield's one. Yeah, and I was at the uh, ten. I start at ten. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because your health equals your your strength score, and then you oh, add your does. health. Yeah. Uh, okay, so if your strength goes up, you can raise it up also. Yeah, thirteen plus five goes to eighteen. Okay. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> the brigadine gives me thirteen and the shield one. But the ten I start with doesn't count. Correct. Yeah, so you don't okay. go to like you don't, you don't go to like twenty something. Y'all never hit you if I did that. Yeah, uh, I was starting to wonder yeah, about uh, how that was done. You got twenty four AC. I will never hit you. You win. Game over. <laughs> I win every encounter. I mean, that kind of was the path I was looking to push uh, Legion towards. I'm too small to carry big shields, though. <laughs> yeah, you, you pick up you pick up Juggernaut unless you add like half your strength to your AC. Oh, that's fair. I mean, I might go that route. I don't know. I mean, the max... It, the, I haven't... Max I haven't read dictated any. AC is 29, I think. And I've seen it's pretty easy to get to, like, 28. I have not read the uh, the upper pads. So, also, since I was gone, what was our determination about where we were going? What we're we're going to take a look at the uh, the woodkeeper. I mean, the forest man, because he's a... The woodcutter boy? Okay. Yeah, good. Also, I can shoot people with lasers now. <gasps> Wrong game. Sweet. I mean, we should be we should be playing a game about shooting people with lasers. I also can't figure out how the hell you make spells work in this in fantasy games. I don't even know how spells work in general in this yet. So, I, well, to look no, that I, up. I, I can't make the, the rolls work correctly. Uh, we'll look it up. Uh, we'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> they will do manual we'll rolls until for now. yeah, until we get figured out. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started. So, if everyone has what they need, we're gonna go ahead and do another ready check. Yeah, we're good. Hey, why the hell is he still here in this damn room? Probably just hasn't closed it. That's not about the shit I mean. Um, actually, I'm gonna... Hmm. Man, I'm gonna restart the server. I wonder if I can kick. Let me see this. It's not like he can do anything. I mean, he kind of could. I mean, he can really do anything, but... Oh, if you right click your character, it lets you go AFK. Yeah. Oh, hey. Ooh, Berserker. That could be fun. Yep. I'm going to start this. I want him out of here, so. I'm level one. Haha. Haha! -ha. I'm intrigued by the concept of Berserker. Step, 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 step. Alright, so we're starting up. Uh, I did password it, because I'll probably do that now, because I have people in here that aren't really part of the game. Uh, password Shadow, so. Lowercase. Shadow! Yeah, I've been, I spent like, the last hour looking through documentation on fan screens. How do you add spells? And it does not tell me. You need to find for, for more core. That's what oh I'm my god. Berserker is disgusting. It is, isn't it? There's a demon inside you. I don't know that it fits, though. So we start rolling to the woodcutters. <coughs> yeah, 
we'll do the manuals right now. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'll, we'll figure out for the uh, session there, Jerrica. Can someone explain why a spyglass costs 100 gold coins? Because it's a very difficult thing to create that requires advanced glass uh, blowing techniques. You're a robot with several people trapped inside it. Yes, and I'm very expensive and special. He is very expensive. That's why you can't buy them, you have to make them as a character. Yeah, uh -huh. there is no amount of money you could pay that would be worth it for a clockwork. Unless you're a wizard. Can you pay someone to make a clockwork? I mean, you probably could, but there's probably no amount of money you could ever give them that would make it worth it. Buy a clockwork. I mean, for them, I mean, that is. Alright, run for your bears. It's like I said, the sheep. You know, oh, oops. Um, I was looking at the I'm, If it's possible, I want to buy one more thing. Yeah, go for it. A crowbar, two copper. Okay. I'm sure they can make crowbars. I bought two. Yeah, it's common. How many banes do you get for dual wielding? Oh. I'm curious. I am actually anyway, sure. we start rolling up to the woodcutter. Let's go. All right, Let's so you head out. Now, what time of day you want to do this little trek at? Morning. All right. <clears throat> We head out. Oh, uh, can we do, we do we watch the sunrise before we go? I'm not waking up that early, but go ahead. Oh, okay. You can. Uh, you don't sleep. I'm going to sleep. Yay. All right. We travel southwards, following the road. As I mentioned, the roadway is still not that great. So, we do still need a intelligence roll, but this time we'll be at two moon because you're more familiar with the area. Rise up, bar. Are they gonna find uh, the destination? Are they gonna go good? Or are you gonna get lost in the forest again? Uh, probably it, the latter. <laughs> it's not the only. Bad. All right. Um, he is on point. He maybe has made a point to actually study the roads and not have this happen again. So he makes a straight <laughs> beeline. Um, experts follow the winding path. But yeah, you're able to move a couple uh, hexes there, so go ahead and move the hex you would like. I am down the road, seems just fine to me. Alright. So after about an hour of... Huh? Are we going to have to roll intelligence for every hex? Yeah. Well, here's, oh, the, uh, here's the thing. Um, do you kind of, I'll do the same thing I do, I'm going to do with my uh, Fallout game. Uh, if you want to do the hex exploration type things, we can... Uh, but then again, there's no real exploration type compared to that game, so... Haven't, haven't we lived here for like three months? Yeah, we can probably take a stroll down the road based on people's instruction. I mean, I'm, I'm good with the exploration thing, it's cool, it's just... I don't think we gotta roll int for everything. Because then I just see the scenario of us rolling poorly on intelligence to take a walk down the road and then <laughs> wasting like 30 minutes of the session just trying to go two miles. But I want realism! You need to tell me if you open That's the door. Realistic. Open the door. Okay. The uh, yeah. Powered by magic collapses. <laughs> really? Uh, go. 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 Blah, blah, blah. You go. Move towards the uh, the building. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So, after traveling a couple hours, you eventually, in the distance, you see a hut. Mm. A hut. It's a hut. The building itself is a bit off the road, so you do have to actually look around for a bit. And in fact, we'll use that rule actually from Zalbar as to find the hut itself because it's not on the road. So Zalbar is able to actually successfully locate um, this woodcutting hut. And you come across this as you're going through the wooded area. Again, the vegetation is very, very heavy. The tree canopy cover here is almost not letting any light shine through. But there's a small little clearing 
around the hut itself, you see the trunks where trees are chopped down around it. And as you are looking at this from a bit of a distance, you don't see any sights, you don't hear anything except for the natural birds in the, the area, the drip of a bit of small rainwater around, and the wildlife, the insects. But no sounds of the woodcutter, no sounds of a human in any type of activity. What do you do? Pull up to the house, let's go. Actually, I have a uh, spell for this. <laughs> uh, actually. Uh, just for that? No, I don't. Go ahead, Legion. <laughs> yeah, Legion just like trundles up to the house and just reaches out a manipulator and knocks on the door. <laughs> Yes. Thank you to whoever just knocked. That was, uh, <laughs> that was good. <laughs> oh, 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 you hear some movements from inside the hut. And then oh, the yes, door... Oh, yes, it is a PC. <laughs> the door, bang, the door uh, opens up. And in front of you, you see this, this older man, balding head, is covered in just... Dirt and grime, and he's hairy and he's filthy. You're immediately struck by just the the stench and the musk of an unwashed body from this individual. And he just kind of looks at you. Eyes are a little bit unfocused. In his hand, he has this this bottle of alcohol, and you can you can smell it come from his mouth. He just kind of looks at you, like, oh. just looking at you. Hello, sir. Our name is Legion, for we were many. What is your name? He actually does that motion of like what a dog would do when it looks at you. And he does that. His head kind of turns a little bit. You see his eyes focus for a <laughs> second, for a little bit. And he just goes, ah. Oh. Oh. Well said. He puts his hand on the door frame and he kind of looks out, staring at the three of you, and he kind of rests back in. And you see this puzzled look over his face. You can make out a bit of the inside of his hut. Again, it is filthy, it's dirty. You see a bit of, because this isn't a bit of a small clearing, some light does actually shine through the ceiling of this guy's hut and you see a bit of the the rotting furniture inside his place and again you can smell just kind of this, this awful just unwashed musky decaying smell come from inside the hut and there's various effects around some bags there seems to be some grain um grain bags laying about he has this small little rack with Looks like we rabbit on it that's currently splayed out bleeding into this barrel that's in the side. And yeah, this is just looks dirty, but you do notice that there's a couple of big uh, hand axes, wood kind of axes, laid up against a wall on the back. It's about three axes. They seem well worn. Oh, well, yeah, he's a lumberjack. Oh, exactly. Yeah, the did he not respond to to the like questioning of what his name is? Oddly, no. Uh, I didn't hear. Sir. Ugh. Ah. Ah. What? Oh. What? Hey, the more you're trying to communicate, right. you're starting to get the sense that he doesn't know how to speak. Are you all right, sir? Hmm. Uh, uh, and he, he bangs his chest. Donovan, I don't think the man can speak. It does not seem so. That seems can to be help. help him. What? Can we help him? Oh, he's a killer. <laughs> he turns around and he walks into his hut. Leaves the door open. Legion just like trundles his way on in. 
<laughs> I guess I'll do the same. I'm concerned. I guess I'll do the same. He, he stops he as he notices people. you come inside. He stops. He looks at you, Legion. He looks at you, Donovan. Mm. He goes to the wall and he picks up one of his axes. He puts it over his shoulder. He starts walking towards three of you. In a th Legion. non threatening manner, I'll say. Yeah, Legion just stands there. In a non threatening Mining. manner, I'll hold my morning star. Hold it in what way? Non threatening. A non threatening manner. Okay. <laughs> Uh, he he eyes your morning star in your hand. The whole and he just kind of looks at you, and, goes, and he goes outside. He, he goes to the front door, and he looks to have he looks at all of you, and he motions with his hand to get out. Okay. Oh, he wants us to leave, or just done? He's standing outside his house now. He's on his front door. Oh, okay, yeah. He's motioning for yeah, all of no, you to we, leave. We all follow. I assume. Okay. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he looks at you, and he closes the door, doesn't lock it, and he starts going into the woods. Not really paying attention to any of you, he just starts walking now. He has uh, his axe over his shoulder, he has the ball at his side, and he goes to one of the nearby trees, and he takes the axe, and does a big swing, thunk, into the tree. And he starts cutting it. Okay. Uh, this is the woodsman. This is the woodsman we were looking for, right? He fits the description. Especially since he's cut a tree right now. <laughs> yeah, well, well, he's uh, just I... gonna watch in fascination. He seems harmless enough to me. Just want to be alone. <laughs> as as he's doing a bit of his wood cutting, he's getting down some small trees around. You do see that he's actually planted. You take a look now, and you see that around his house has very, very large trunks. And then the closer you go to his house, they're smaller. Like he's been planting them uh, to regrow. And as he does this for about maybe 10, 15 minutes, and he notices that you're just watching him, he actually stares at the three of you for a little moment, and he motions for you to come over. Legion okay. goes on over. Um, as an aside, real quick, I decided not to go priest. I went magician instead because priest sucks. <laughs> okay. I like spells. Yikes. Okay. So I'm, I'm no looking at all, all the same spell choices, but I get more of them. Look so at that. The guy's not here no more. All right. Uh, so he actually, as you come near um, to Zalbar, he hands the axe. He like he like he shoves his axe into your chest. The handle. Um, blade face the outward so it doesn't hit you and then he kind of throws you uh, not doesn't throw you but he kind of puts his hand on your back and motions you towards the tree I go to the tree <laughs> this not gonna go well I'm guessing he wants me to start shopping yeah uh, that's a, do you want me to do no, a thing no, no, do you start doing it though well, I don't want to um, mess. I don't want to. Well, there's, there's gonna be no so. roll. I just want to know if you're. I just want to know if you're gonna do it. Yes. Okay. He goes. Ah. Mm. He, nod, he, he he nods his head. Um, he goes actually a little bit away, back towards his house to the side, where there's more axes laying about, and he grabs two more, or he just he grabs three more, and he walks back to the two of you, Legion and Donovan, and he hands he hands each one of you an axe. Absolutely not. We are here for a purpose, not to help him chop, chop his wood. Let's humor him. Maybe find something else out about him in... later. No, Donovan, he what seems like a nice wood? man. Isn't this the man rumored to be killing people, yes? Well, yes, but uh, there's no evidence for that yet. So you're helping chop his wood? Yes, I'm getting him friendly with him. Maybe he'll uh, open up his home to us and we can look inside some more, investigate some more, without having to fight him. He might just be some guy that lives here. Uh, 
So he swings the axe at the ground to lodge it um, around your feet, not like to hit you, uh, Donovan. And then he goes to you, Legion. He hands, a hex, he hands an axe to you. What do you do? Yeah, Legion takes the axe and, uh, and goes to chop the tree. Okay. He goes to another tree, and at this point, all of you except for Donovan are topping trees. Um, and he's just kind of going about his business. Um, every now and then, he'll kind of do a reassuring look to see the progress of Zabar and Legion. So what is going on? I want to know what all of you are doing. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Chopping trees. Being fascinated by it. Loving Did I him. just... I'm trying to say, establish a relationship with him so we can uh, gain his trust. Uh, I'm going to take a look at his hut or for any kind of uh, malfeasance about while okay. they chop wood. So the chopping woods, uh, how, or do you want to go inside the hut? You want to go around it? What exactly are you looking for? Or I'll where? Look, I'll look around the outskirts of the, of the hut. Okay, the fantastic. Um, so here's what I want. I want Legion and Zabar to go ahead and give me a intelligence roll at two Bane. Donovan, you can get me one at a normal roll. Intelligence roll? Yeah. Uh, no Bane, so it's a neutral roll. Ouch. Hey, I succeeded. Also, I'll need like six spells. So if you could have those, that'd be great. Okay. I'll give a chance. Um, the Legion? What's up? Intellect. Two bits. Oh, my bad. Yep. 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 Why did the robot do better than me? Because... How did I do that well? You rolled an eight. You're both terrible because you're working wood with the madman in the woods. No, I, I rolled really well for me. Considering I had a four bane and a minus one. Oh no! Haha! -ha! Shit! <laughs> uh, I think he didn't mean to do that. There you go. What didn't he mean to do? And it's alright. I made a bit of a floof. A bit of a floof. A floof. Lift, lift. He's typing something to Donovan. I think about he noticing something yeah. wrong. Yeah, I'll give some information. Okay. That's basically what I thought when you said that we had to do a two bane and he, uh, Donovan didn't. Like, okay, something is up. Something weird though. I'm gonna bet that he has like a weird sibling who's like a horrible werewolf or something that lives in the basement. But uh, the sibling is also uh, can speak and is much more intelligent. Intelligent. Yeah, I think it's something like that. <clears throat> yeah. Because like, this uh, guy. Little... You were gonna say? No, oh, I was just saying this guy seems nice. I don't. I don't think he kills people. Though to be fair, that may be more reason why he kills people. It might just be that he won't be alone. Yeah, but something sketch is clearly happening. Yeah, that's uh, with the accidental message and the two bane. This is yeah, I mean, to be the witch hunter, and you guys are helping a madman chop wood. Me, Legion, <laughs> does not think anything's up, but me, player, thinks thinks something's up. Yes. Also, we're distracting him for you, okay? Uh -huh. So don't complain. As more time comes on, and a couple of these small trees are cut down, he investigates, he sees how well Zalbar and Legion do. And after some time, and he goes about and actually does get a, a fairly large stack, combined with Yurtu's um, wood. And he does drag it back to the hut. In the time, he's smiling, he's happy about this, and he gives you both reassuring nods. 
Thank you, sir. And he goes to a barrel at the side of his hut, and he lifts off the lid, and he digs in. And you see this bit of this white powder inside as he does this, and then he lifts out several rabbit carcasses. Cocaine rabbits. And he motions <laughs> his other cell. He motions to the three of you, and he goes, Wah! and he goes to the house, and he motions for all of you to come. Yeah, Legion walks in. I follow. Uh, I will follow, keep an eye on this house, look around, while they distract the woodkeep. So it's going to be Legion and Zabar going inside? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm going inside too. I'm okay. Just, okay. I'm not getting involved. Cause oh, okay, okay, okay. fantastic. All right. Thing. So he goes to the fireplace or the um, the hearth fire in the hut, and again, it, this place is a bit messy, a bit raggedy, a lot of trash everywhere. Um, is leaking from various spots on the ceiling. He starts to set up a fire and he starts cooking this meat, and it doesn't quite overcome the smell of just the decay and rot inside this place. But it, it's a mix. It, I might be a little bit sickly just the way it's all combined together. But he's cooking a meal, and he does pull out a couple of these, uh, these clay mugs. He fills them with uh, some water, and he hands them to all three of you. He hands water to Legion. Yeah, Legion's gonna take it and just kind of like... Yeah, he, he hands now, a, a thing of... Now it's body Legion. a little, and just, and just say, Thank you, sir. However, we cannot imbibe. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, the entire time, he, he does the grunts, he does... He, at various times, he will start to form an actual word. Like, the beginning of syllables, and it seems like he might speak something, and then he goes back to a grunt. Almost like this guy has forgotten how to speak. Okay. Well, he's never really learned the language. Maybe he's been out here his entire life, he's never learned it. Huh, alright. Yeah, uh, like... Yeah, mm -hmm. Legion is just gonna keep like he's gonna accept or it's gonna accept whatever is given to it, but it's it's going to make it clear at every step that like thank you, I appreciate this, but can't drink or eat. Alright. Uh, I like to have three intelligence rolls at one bane for searching general perceptions. Unless you got a background that can help out. Uh, I'm so remember I'm always gonna mention like the, the banes. Sense. You need to come back to me if there's any boons on my help or any way to negate it. So First Am sense. I good at sensing danger? Because I'm a soldier? No. No. Oh. Uh will I my rogue could... um, training help me? I would say I'm yes. Um you can go a normal roll. Um he's... he's looking for professions, I thought, not classes though. Uh, yeah, the, <laughs> I think, I I think, think the, the bro class though would also benefit maybe yeah because it, it's kind of a little thing to like look at things and start to find things like that to be out. yeah I'll go with it what about you Donovan uh, it's academic occult or magic mm, in this situation I'm going to say no so, one main. Uh, intellect? Yes. It's just a general perception. Nope. Okay. Definitely not drinking the water, by the way. With <laughs> all day talk, boy. Alright, so in general, you kind of look around to see anything that might stand out, anything that might give any clues to this guy's very, very unusual, very kind of friendly work ethic. Um as he's seemingly trying to maybe feed you now the, these rabbits. And after some time for the cooking, uh, he does actually give you uh, this this kind of like this roast uh, rabbit uh, chunks. He, he sits down, he starts eating it by him, he starts eating them and just, he's enjoying it. And you might put up to your mouth, not mouth, up to your nostrils to smell it. It smells very, very nice. It still doesn't really quite give off or negate the, the stench inside the place. But as you kind of glanced around, nothing really stands out as this guy is dangerous, except for the details I've given clues-wise, so.
Yeah, I mean, Legion just keeps accepting things, but can't eat them. Yeah, he still gives it to you, even though it's very, very obvious to anyone that knows what you are, if you'll eat or drink. Does, wait, he does seem to understand that fact? Yeah. He still, I mean, okay. it's, it's not that he seems to know, he just gives it to you, uh, expecting you to eat it. You never ever touch okay. it, you might hand it off. He doesn't really make any gesture about that. He doesn't really react to oh, that. Oh, he, he doesn't really care. Yeah. It's So it's it's not Im, it's clear from observing him that it's not impolite for Legion to, like, shuffle his food along. No. Oh, great. So, yeah, Legion is just going to, like, shuffle his food along to either Zalbar or Donovan. Yeah, I feed it all to Zalbar. Then he hands you another plate. Yeah, there's going to be an expectation for you because you can eat, I assume. Yeah, I would guess so too. Um, I'm just a bit skeptical about um, anything he's cooked. About the, whether or not they're going to be any form to season it. Zalbar, don't be rude. I didn't say that out loud, by the way. I asked me as a player, not character. Um, did you eat it, uh, Jericho? No. No? Uh, I just look at the Donovan and kinda... Don't eat it. So, none of you eating the food? I... No. Oh. I don't. He kinda looks at all three of you, and he's eating it himself, he's... You, you, you see the look, he kinda stares at all three of you in return. And he goes... Ugh! He holds up his uh, portion of the rabbit. Hey, I'll take a bite. It's fine. All right, you take a bite, Donovan, and it's actually fairly good. It's seasoned, it's spiced, a bit of the salt in there from the preservation, but no ill effects, and it's it's kind of tasty. Wait, it was seasoned? The salt. Where did he get that from? The woman he was cooking too, so it would have been Being that process. Alive? It's a little gamey. Um, I just got a bit skeptical when they said it was seasoned. I mean, people can have seasoning. Yeah, but would that uh, kind of? It doesn't stand out. I'll put it that way. So it's not, it's not like just... extravagant, like kingly feast seasoning type stuff, so, but so it's, it's, just it's, talking... it's basic herbs and stuff like that. Okay, but salt, isn't that actually something you have to mine? What? No. Oh, salt sure. mines? Yeah. You, can, you, you can collect salt a great many ways. Ah, I didn't know that. Ah, in that case I take a small bite. It's empty as Zabar, it actually tastes really good. I'm impressed. In fact, it actually might be a little bit better than the food in Fletcher's Rest that you've had so far. Well, that doesn't surprise me. You're going to make me that feel better killing the march. And then after the, after the food, after you might put it away, you might put it down. Um, yes, do you finish it? Yes, that. Um, no. Hmm, yeah, I will. Okay. He kind of gives you a I bit know. of a, a bad look, Salabar, and uh, he kind of smiles at Donovan, and then he goes, mm, oh, and he hands up more mugs of the water, and then he goes to a, a old chair, wooden chair in, in his place, and he kind of sits down to rest. And so far, after all this has been happening through the day, we're probably a bit past midday at this point, and he actually, you start, after a while, hear him snore. Very trusting for a man who lives in a forest filled with bandits. I guess Does because, Donovan uh, say that, or is that Jericho saying that? Me. Jericho? Yeah. Well, I'm guessing because uh, we chopped wood with him. Um, I will take a look around in that case, if he's sleeping. Okay. Do you want to be stealthy about it, or you just want to look around? Um, do I have to do agility if, uh, if I'm stealthy? Yes. E and if I'm not stealthy? 
Um, there's a chance he might wake up. Yes, but uh, what to roll in that case? Just, hey, uh, stay. I killed it again. Yeah. Actually, either way, just see if he does wake up. If you do, was to do an investigation, it will be a straight agility roll. All right, next we'll do this. Um, if anyone wants to actually get us, uh, so we'll do this. If you want to just look around again without actually moving, we can do perception rolls intelligence. If you want to look around by actually moving, um, I will give that same intelligence roll uh, to Boone. But there's a small chance he might wake up. Um, Donovan, what's your uh, in actuality? Not good. Ten in that case, I oh. guess. Nine. Oh. Um, I, I try and take a look around without moving. All right. Uh, so they're gonna be the same thing. I want a bane with. Actually, for you, if you're fine, give me a straight normal. Um on this roll. Okay. In that 20. Um, you're quite low again. I'm not stealthy because I'm worried. I'm taking penalties for wearing speedy armor. Hersk? Yes. Uh, oh, you're still here. Yep. Okay. Give him. Give him. Okay. Give it information. Hersk, I'll. Those extra spells we have a chance. I have a lot. For some reason, I can't copy. I can only create. Oh, uh, how many do you need? Five more? Yeah. Magicians get way more spells than priests. Alright. Dramatically more. Um Saubar leans over to Donovan and points at the a pile of garbage and whisper look a face. You look in the what? direction and it was partially actually it's mostly buried, about three quarters buried, but you just see the side of a face that is face? under a pile of garbage. A human face? Yes. I feel like you just cut off a dude's face? Or maybe see hiding a body under the garbage. I'll take a look. How big is the pile? Pile's about maybe a foot and a half off the ground, and it's a big pile of garbage um, of just a various collection of trees, not trees, a bit of rags, bits of broken wood, canvas, and just Wait, refuse. So is Hurst. it big enough to hide a whole body? No. Hersk, uh. is, it, is it like someone cut off someone's face and it's sitting there, or is it like the face is poking up out of the trash? The face is poking up out of the trash. Okay. Uh, so we're talking about the bar. head. What do you say? Go take a look. You're sneaky, right? I got 10 agility. Zabar is also not with us anymore, right? We're still chilly at the table. Legion and Donovan. No, yeah. no, no. I just had a look. Yeah, just he, just, looked. he looked around uh, physically. Or uh, mentally. He just, he just looked. He didn't actually move around. He just looked around. Oh, okay. All right. Uh... So you want me to actually move to the garbage pile and look? Alright, you, you go over and... No, no, I, I ask, I ask Jericho. Right. Yeah, of course I do, that's what I just said. Um, and if he, if he wakes up... Then we kill him. Maybe we should uh, prepare for him waking up before we start moving to the garbage pile? I hold up my base. I ready my... So, so everyone has been briefed? Yeah. Yeah, Legion is gonna pull off his, uh, or pull off their axe and shield. And I gotta do my axe and shield as well. 
and I slowly move to the pile. All right, so if you're getting weapons ready, um, here's a sleep. I want you to give me a Jody Rot to Boon. I already have my doubt, so I'm good. I had prepared. I don't know. It seems kind of weird to have a full weapon out the entire time. Uh, I, I told, like I said, I have it out non-threateningly. I think he's just told me. Yeah, we've just held it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I'll create the next time. It, yeah, I wouldn't fly with that. Oh, I'll do it the next time. Um, I'm guessing Legion has to do a role as well. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Intelligence. No agility. No. If you oh, pull out weapons, just to make not make any noise. Two boon. Since I'm a soldier, could I, could I maybe be better at this? You know what? Did you actually train for it? I'll say yes. You can give yourself uh, one. Give yourself another boon. Three boon. Oh my. Three boon. <laughs> Great. Oh my. Oh, that's a six. I'm <laughs> liking that. I'm oh, liking that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, why did you do a three four? Oh, your agility's probably low. You have a, my, uh, my agility is plus is minus three. Okay, that's why. Okay, I was like, what the? I have seven agility. A okay. bit of input, but the teleportation school has a spell called Hole of Glory. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, hole or hole? Hole. What does it do? Yeah, I'm, what's it? Yeah, I'm curious because about that now. It makes a one foot wide um, portal in the center of each cube. It makes so it's two cubes, one yard on a side within medium range. Wow. Anything that goes through one portal goes to the other. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Very popular in the French style. Yeah. So, um, uh, okay. There you go. <laughs> I slowly move to the garbage pile. You slowly go to the garbage pile and you start to move away a bit of the debris, and you come across the face, and it's flesh is cold. You still see more of the detail and it's gray. The eyes are in a set expression of horror um, as you brush more away and it's a human head and you get to the point where its body would be and there's nothing there. It's come across the, the ligaments and the juicy bits of the neck and the, just the cut flesh. It's severed head. Man, I wish someone had called this somehow. Hey, I, I was, I wasn't saying he wasn't gu guilty. I was just saying we should gain his it's, trust. It's fully just a, a head. Yeah. Does it look like a child? Like no, looks like a human adult. Just a regular. Male or female? It's a male. So I feel I like. Okay, you go ahead. Me, you go ahead. I as a player feel like we're missing the full story. I feel like I'm gonna hit him with my morning star really hard. Uh, maybe we should keep him alive for just a moment. Yeah, Legion is just gonna like look at the skull or look at the head, look at Donovan, look at Zalbar, and say, "I feel we we must investigate further." No, I agree. Um, um, quick question: no, 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 you, Can... you are all crazy people. He has a um, severed head in his garbage pile. And what if there is more to the story? There, than it doesn't matter! Him? There's a severed head in his garbage pile! I'm not saying he's Donovan, innocent. Donovan, Zalbar, we must remain quiet. Donovan, I'm not saying he's innocent. I'm saying he might not be alone. Wait till they come back and we will kill them too. Donovan. But Lord of the Lugoth. Donovan. Um, we do not have all of the information that we require. Yourself and Zalbar should investigate further. I will watch, or we will watch him. Um, I got a question about the uh, healing. Um, could I directly say chop his hand off, hand off with my axe, and we heal him so he doesn't die from it? I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no. Because if, if, if you take his hand off, he's kind of immobilized and can't fight. I mean, that, he's still mobile. Uh, he can still fight and is still mobile. Legion is yep. Legion is it's... just going to like stand up and move over to him quietly. Okay. Um, and just stand near him with his axe out. So Legion um, is going to stand there and guard the prisoner 
and hope that uh, Zelbar and Donovan do the thing. I will evil head. There's nothing to search for. We kill him. He has a severed head. In he his has a severed garbage. head. Donovan. Donovan. While he has a severed head in his garbage, there may be an accomplice. Which we can find after we kill this one. I'm not, I'm not the crazy person here. <laughs> Son of I will. We will ensure he does not awake, and if he does, we will eliminate him. But please continue to search. You're all crazy. Donovan, we are doing an investigation. Maybe we need to uh, interrogate him. What? Okay. This is a really so, weird situation that's going on so, right now. So, <laughs> all right. So, so as a as a player, just to just to jump out right now, I agree we should kill him. However, my logic and reasoning here is a Legion doesn't want to just kill people, and b, um, genuinely, if we kill him, we might end up making a situation worse. So we should delay and try to figure out the whole situation first, because a we could be in a situation where. He, this was self-defense, and someone tried to come kill him. Or B, there could he be something really... He cut off their head, and it's I'm in aware. his garbage. I'm aware. <laughs> B, there could be something... There could be something <laughs> sus going on downstairs, and if we kill him, it could get worse. What downstairs? Is there... Or where? I thought it was a hut. Be, yeah, it's a hut. There could be something sus. Have we seen the whole hut? I was under the impression we had not. I assume we can see the whole thing from the dining room table. Yes. Uh, I was under the impression there was more going on here. Okay, yes. Uh, murder. <laughs> Can we just take a look around to see if we find anything more first? Go ahead Absolutely. and take a look around. I'm going to cast, uh, create holy symbol. Just say the word is, uh... uh okay. Uh, casting, I believe, does use, uh, vocal stuff, correct? Don't cast anything that's gonna wake him up. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good point. No, so I feel like any casting, because I don't know, like I've, like I said, I unfortunately have not read the casting rules yet. Uh, it does it does have vocal components. I don't know how quiet I can make it be, though. Okay, uh, I would say with spells... Um, uh, it doesn't have a volume, I just have to say it. So it could uh, whisper it? Yes? What would that be under? If I do... Once again, I want to do a roll to see if he wakes up, because you're actually talking. Um, if it's a whisper, uh... perception. I guess I give him a general perception roll and see if he wakes up with two, a few bane. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll give him a few bane. Okay. I'll give him three bane. Oof. Then we'll do a d twenty roll. This ain't wake. He ain't waking up. <laughs> he, he is out cold. <laughs> He's not He's out. Like, <sighs> yeah, apparently his drink the other day made him just out drunk. So yeah, you can actually with this roll, you can go and walk around as much as you want right now. He is out. He is just snoring. Yeah, In I, I whisper. I whisper with Hesha, and summon my holy symbol to my hand. Okay. I'll uh, look around uh, some more to see if there's anything else. We should be aware of before we take an action. So now that fact that he's kind of not uh, been able to be awoken at the moment, you can actually look around a little more thoroughly. You do find a trap door buried under the garbage. Which we can't open without making a lot of noise. I will say at this point, um, because I did get a native, which is technically a crit shell, I will say you can open it with no um, chance yeah. of it. It, it seems like he's out cold. We also haven't killed him yet, right? We're still just yeah, watching. Yeah, he's him. just he's sleeping. Yeah, cool. I'm about to walk yeah. up and hit him with my morning star. No, the, the Legion just looks at Donovan and says, "Check below." Request before. You guys are terrible witch hunters. <laughs> Donovan, we are actually doing an investigation of the witch hunt. Reconnaissance before combat. I will ensure, or we will ensure, nothing bad happens in the meantime. Please, be quick. I'll open the hatch. Oh, trap door. Oh, Legion is gonna watch the guy and be like, Donovan, go downstairs. I'm watching the guy too, because you know, he keeps heads in his garbage. <laughs> 
and you're all somewhat okay with that immediately smiting the shit out of me. So, Bar, you open the trap door? Yes. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Troll. I'm typing. Uh, he's typing. But by the way, um, Jericho, we are not investigation, not a witch hunt. No, we are a witch hunt. It's an investigation. Hey, look, I found a head in his goddamn motherfucking garbage. Smite! <laughs> That's my investigation. You got a cell bar? Oh, oh, oh. Um,. I'll tell the other guys, um, there are several bodies down here, uh, with different wounds. I uh, nail him with my warning star. Uh, uh, wait, let me speak. I'm not finished speaking, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Finish, finish what you want to say first. <laughs> then we'll do some smiting. Um, the, there's a guy, there's a couple of guys here that uh, looks like the bandits that attacked us as well. So he's no friend of the bandits as well. He's what? There are, he's no friend to the bandits as well. But he does seem to kill everyone that uh, comes by. Man, I wish this is such a hard moral decision for me. He murders good people <laughs> yeah. and bad people. Oh wait, he <laughs> killed good people? Smite the motherfucker! Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I want to... I want to... Here's, here's what I want to do. Um, I, I, as a player, take that severed head, wake the guy up, and hold the head in front of him, in front of him, while we all stand around him with the weapons. You're Just a fucking nut. I cast, <laughs> I cast, a, I cast denounce on the, the woodcutter. Okay. I, I didn't say that we were going to do it. I just said I want. Them. Tell me what. Uh, I don't know what it's supposed to do. So tell me what denounce does. Um, I need a, a. I make a will attack roll against his will. <laughs> if I success, he becomes frightened for a round. Actually, if he's surprised, I don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, he's sleeping. So. Uh, so I'll just hit him first, and then we'll do. Um, um, yeah, if you hit him, though, he won't be surprised no more. So. Legion is axing him, by the way. Yeah, so fast turn. We're all taking fast actions. <laughs> um, <laughs> do I have to do a. Do I have to move? Oh, my goodness. Charge in that case. You can charge. Fuck. I will double click. Because the first so, turn he has the surprise condition, which means he can't do shit. And yep. then the second turn, we start beating the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, he wants to go first. Donovan! Uh, Legion is closest. Go away, crab. <laughs> He's a spider. No, there's a crab on the combat tracker. Wait, what? Wait, there's a what? On the combat tracker. Oh, there, there's a crab. <laughs> oh, right. yeah, yeah. Hey, Donovan, we'll remove that. Donovan, how much longer do you have? Uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes. By the way, um, Hurst, should I have removed that one wound I have? Yes. <laughs> You've been living here for three months. <laughs> yes. You heal your healing rate a day. No, no, uh, pretty weird. Okay. I would, I would like to take my peaceful sleeper. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I think what it's going to turn out to be is that this guy is protecting the townsfolk. Well, he... like actually, uh, Hersk. What's up? Question on behalf of Zalbar. Uh, do they? Do, are there bodies that just look like normal people? So, think of it as like a well. And that size, you can see the bodies on top, but there's a mix of dirt and other garbage in there. So, you can only see the top two bodies, which are bandit clothing. Underneath he has you a well don't, let's of dig it out. corpses. I and like a hand <laughs> in his trash. <laughs> this place is super bandit heavy, man. Um, um, quick question. 
Has Fitchers ever been attacked by the bandits? But just rest itself, no, because it's too big. Well, huh. of huh. corpses. And if they are all bandits, <laughs> if you I take the first well. action because you guys are arguing <laughs> about hitting the man with the well of corpses. Oh no, Legion's about to kill him. I was just asking, <laughs> I was asking a question so that we, like, Zalbar had more context. So, it we cannot determine whether or not... Unless you start pulling out some bodies, which is going to make noise. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to kill the guy who's going to end up being a peaceful protector of this town. Yes. Who has a well of corpses! <laughs> <laughs> and they're all bandits. <laughs> this is quite a conundrum I have thrown upon you. <laughs> they're all bandits. <laughs> I swear to God, we're gonna crack it open and it's gonna all be bandits. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take the first action. I'm gonna kill the man. <clears throat> Alright, do the roll. Uh, pretty sure you're gonna get a few boon. I don't know what the roll is for a surprise, but get some two boon. Uh, oh, okay, so that's, an ex so that's three boon then. Yeah, you're hitting, a, you're hitting that sleeping guy, so I don't know if it's even a cootie draw. But let's go with that. I say that hits! <laughs> it makes the defense becomes five. Oh, okay, okay. Four damage. Alright. You hear a thwack! And you hear a. Ugh! But all of you swift your actions, so do your stuff. Ah, uh, yes. You know it's a Hersk character because he grunts at every opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> Done and then. I swear, this is gonna turn out to have the woodcutter being a good boy. Yes, it's gonna. Protecting the good little boys and ghouls. Ghouls? Alright, so that was Legion. Who's going next? I got it. Alright. Yeah, you go. That's a hit! You didn't do a boon? It's just one oh, hits. So. Yeah, I forgot about it. It doesn't matter. Three points of damage. Ah! He screamed. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes are filled with fear now. Second hallmark of a her skin PC. Screaming. <laughs> Zalbar. They all have skirts. <laughs> <coughs> um, his wounds are still at four, by the way. Oh, sorry. Uh, so that was three damage. So he's at seven. Uh, I uh, uh, apologize again. I have to dip for a handful of minutes to go eat some food. Uh, Donovan has full permission to act as he wishes on Legion's behalf. Okay. Sorry, folks. Yeah, he is bleeding from numerous places on his body. From well, I assume it would be numerous. There's only be two strikes against him, but those two strikes that hit him um, with the Morningstar and the Legion it, are just opened up wounds on his body. It's bleeding freely now, red blood. Uh, I do I have to charge or can I just attack? You just I attack. Guess I'm... I mean, it's just you just have to attack. be at a DC five, so or yeah. So let's just do the. Uh... Just still roll, but because you still miss, but still roll. Yeah, do I, any boons or banes? Uh, as I mentioned, three boons, so two boons, because it's the one bane I believe to charge, so two boons and then roll. Yeah, so you, you won't even fail. So go ahead and just uh, roll damage. Uh, damage, um... Ooh, nice hit. <laughs> All right, uh, so then he's hit by Zalbar's axe into his body, um, bleeding freely, and he starts screaming. He starts yelling um, in fear. The fact that he's not dead yet is deeply concerning. He yeah. is probably big and strong. Yeah, he is not dead. So we now go to he's round one. That was a surprise round, so declare actions. Fast. Fast. All right, and yeah. Legion also goes fast. Okay. All right, so goes the players. Um, I will go first, because I can denounce him. Denounce him. 
Uh, so let me make sure I have this. So I have my holy symbol out, which gives me a boon. So he's already both uh, wisdom. So I need him to make. Uh, what's his will? Uh, his will is eleven. Okay, so I need it. That's my target. Can he do it? All right. Yes. So uh, he is frightened of me. Just you? Well, oh, he's he's frightened. He makes all attack rolls and challenge rolls with one bane, and they cannot take fast turns. Ooh, ah. Okay. <laughs> so I guess he'll slow turn. Okay. I Doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, he'll still go last, but so it's fine. I uh, should be here or I go next. You're here, so go ahead. Okay. I do a normal attack. Okay. Now and... his arms up, he's trying to defend himself. So now his AC is actually going to go to where it should be. So. So no boons. Oh no, he still has boons, but his his actual defense is going to be correct now. So. No boons. No oh, boons. No, no boons now. Uh, he, he is now awake and up and about, and that's a miss. Yeah, he he quickly and... deflects the blow into the side of his chair. If he has a 13 AC by himself. This is another person. Uh, you have to do for Legion. Uh, I have access to a sheet. Uh, what do you want him to do? I use to attack. Okay. Uh, uh, he, he gets an automatic boon because he's him. Why? He didn't have this the way it should be. How did he damage this before? Alright, uh, just roll, just roll, just roll, uh, a d20. Just roll the boon, or roll a boon, then roll a d20 in chat. Okay, so here's a boon. Alright, this is five. Plus that four, will so hit. And then I think he has a, a battle axe, so I'll just roll my morning star. So he does four damage. Alright. Uh, he is hurt. Alright, and now it goes to the peaceful sleeper, who's no longer sleeping. Alright. <laughs> he quickly, with his actions, he goes, ah, 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 and he runs to, he doesn't run, he actually, um, reaches over and grabs a axe that was at the side of his chair and brings it over to him. It's a wood connects and he stands up, fear in his eyes, as he goes to defend himself. And he's gonna take a swing at uh Zalbart. Why is it always me? Because you're there. You didn't eat the dinner. Yes. <laughs> that too. I did eat a bit. But not the full meal. He took offense to that. Alright, let's see. So he's gonna <laughs> roll. So it's gonna be a normal attack, so D20! He rolled an 11! Actually, I've got to add in uh, his strength, so he actually would have rolled. Thirteen, which I do believe misses you. I have defense 14. Alright, so yeah, he goes to hit you with his axe, and you just bring up his shield, and just poof, bounces off the shield. Alright. Next turn. Mm-hmm. Fast! Okay. Fast. Fast! And I I go first. Okay, he's calling it. And I'm gonna do an attack. Do your worst. Well, I'll do it. <laughs> More blows to his body. And basically, I uh, block his axe and counter with my axe. Fantastic. Who's next? Um, let's see how this works here.
guess uh, 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 Legion will attack again. All right. Uh, go ahead and do a normal roll and uh, see if he hits. He's got a boom. Why well, does he get a boom, by the way? He's a warrior. That will miss. Plus his uh, three. Oh, 13. Uh, 13, yeah. 13 would miss. Okay. Yeah, I missed the 13 earlier. Yep. 14 okay. is uh, defense. I mean, I'll just keep beating the shit out of it. Alright. <laughs> uh, so, Donovan, it's on you. What do you want to do? Just look at the spells here. Uh, just do a normal attack. I guess he had 20 health. Yeah. He looks very, very hurt. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I have uh, Burning Beam, and I'm gonna cast that on him. Okay, so um, tell, me, uh, tell me real quick how spells work. Uh, each uh, each can't level zero I have, I can cast each of them two times per day. Okay. Each level one I can cast one time per day. Okay. Um, yeah, go. Is there a chance that the rotting building can catch fi fire? I don't know why it's damp in here. Fire. A fiery beam leaps from your hand. Make a roll against agility. So if you fail, I'm gonna say it could, because it misses. I'm okay. Then I will not use. Because it. you do strike an object or a creature. Um, because it says object, I will say it can miss and actually strike something else. So. Oh, then I won't use it. <laughs> you should use Kier. Because he is a peaceful awaker. A <laughs> peaceful awaker. He awakes people from life. I mean, if I can't set people on fire, I wouldn't set objects on fire. It's not one of the things I can do. It's it's light. Yeah. It says a fiery beam bleeds from your hand. Yeah, but it doesn't have causes fires in there. Uh, I still would go with it, um, just because that's just the way it sounds to me. And that is one spell I'm going to say that will... But I'll tell you what, you said it was damp in here, and I said it was damp also. There's a small chance I might not light anything on fire. Okay, I'm just not going to use it then. I'm not okay. going to take the risk. Glad I have it. Uh, save the spells, just in case. I have so many spells. Yeah, just I'm... save them. You might uh, you might need them to fight... Uh... No, I'm fine. I have so many spells. So can you cast one of each level one spell once, or are you going to cast one level one spell right now? I can all I can cast all my level one spells once. Once, okay. Each, right. each. I only have one level one spell. Okay. I just have a bunch of can't, uh, level zeros. All right, got it. I oh, that will definitely hit him. Another six points of damage. You crush his face in, and he goes argh, argh, and just. Gurgling blood out from the fractured mess of his face, and he dies. And now he's a, peace, a peaceful deader. I mean, he definitely wasn't human. <laughs> Dead <or> sleep. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what was that? Sorry, my mic. I just tried to charge the headset last night, so it's in the midst of charging while I'm playing the game. Or running the game, I should say. <clears throat> what? Okay, I will, uh... I will... Combat is at... over! He is dead! Take a look at the corpse, see what the hell he is. He's human. With a natural 13 AC and, what, 30 health? 20 health. Yeah, natural armor. Is it your armor based on your uh, agility? Or is it just 10? Uh, it's 10 plus agility? Yeah. That's very okay. agile, human. Okay, well, he's dead. Uh, I go through his things. I go back to the um, pit and try to see what else is down there. All right, so you go through his meager belongings. He has no coins. 
He has a couple pieces of this uh, jerky. In the same resemblance of the rabbit jerky. He has a couple <laughs> of rags for his uh, his axes to keep him kind of oiled. And yeah, that's it he has on him. Okay. And what do I find down the well of bodies? You start pulling the bodies up. And it's a very, very, very bad, very hard smell. I want you, Legion... No, sorry, Legion. I want you, Zalbar, to go ahead and give me a... A will. Roll with one bang, please. I'm just thinking if there's something I can do to remove the bane. Uh, this would be just from the grotesque operation of removing bodies from a well that's decaying and just putrid, so I don't think really anything would help here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, this... Ooh, alright, this will be interesting. This will give you one more sanity, and I think this actually gives you something else, too. If you get a crit fail, I believe. Well, crit fails aren't really a thing. Uh, well, not a crit, but if you get a zero or less, I do believe you get other extra stuff. Especially if I'm remembering correct on uh, insanity. Or something in a different game. Let's start real quick. I just thought maybe Legion should have done this. Would he have it uh, terrible by the smell? I think he can still smell. Uh, actually, it doesn't like this anything in here. I, 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 I guess I read something wrong somewhere. Um, I thought this would give you something. You probably just mixed it up with something else. Possibly. Yeah, that's not worry about it right now. Uh, yeah, but you do gain one more insanity. Um, as this does, because it's just, just kind of the situation, like I said, you might be new to want to get a bit of a venture, but this is still something that's very, very gruesome. The buys you're bringing now, um, just having a horrible smell, just the look, seeing the blood, the dried, um, fleshy bits because their bodies are slashed and cut open as you pull them out you pull out the first one it's a bandit you pull out the second one it's a bandit you pull out the third one also a bandit you get to the fourth one and you recognize the clothing as one of the people that went looking for the bandits um, a while back from Fletcher's Rest this is one of the people for Fletcher's Rest. So, he was a bad guy. I mean, you could tell that from the first three people he murdered, regardless of their profession. Well, if they were bandits, they kind of um, maybe turned to attack someone or something. We don't know why he killed them in I that mean, case. He still put them in a well under his house. What else is he supposed to do? Bury them. Case? They are murderers and probably rapists and thieves, and they don't deserve that. I'm deeply concerned. You don't see the difference between burying people. And I, 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 well I agree. Burn them, burn them. Yes, but don't bury them. They don't deserve the honor. Just burn their bodies. Um. Okay, so I've done the insane thing of uh, looking through the corpses. Anything interesting? Yeah, I did a... uh, do you look through the garments of the corpses? I go outside this... this... I'm already in this, I should just finish it. <laughs> yeah, I already gave the sanity, so... <laughs> I have nothing to lose at this point. So, do I find anything uh, interesting, special, anything useful? And two daggers.
I'll let you die. It's always useful despite having axe. Always good with a backup weapon. Jericho, no, I don't know him. Legion. I don't need any. Or you can just tell them. That's always a possibility. Uh, Honestly, if, if they are being sold, I should get the money for doing this in the first place. That's fine, I'm sure. But after the deed is done, after looking over the bodies for maybe any type of identification, um, yeah, you do come across that uh, six silver as well as the two daggers. Still uh, in their sheaths, in the boots. Uh, just a quick question. What about the Legion? Does he take a dagger? You ask when he gets back here. They're in the uh, the party sheet, so. Yeah, I'll just uh, take them for now. Yeah, I'll, leave, I'll leave them there, so. You can take it later on if he wants to. Up, up to him. Uh, I take one dagger and. How do I do this again? Drag it to your inventory on your character sheet. Yeah, but I just want the one, not the two. Uh. I think it's either a controller shift. Play your mode with it. That's mine. Or alt. Alt controller shift is one of those. Uh, but as you can figure that out, wait. with the dead body inside the hut, what do you do? Gonna. I know uh, I know how two daggers, but it still still says two in the party sheet. But you took two of them. I took one. I had one before. Okay, I'll delete it. Delete one. All right. I'll pull the villager out. Um. Uh, um. Ma maybe maybe we should uh, get the townspeople to help us with this. It might be just too much for us. We just need to carry the body back and burn the, the house. Uh, what now? He wants to burn it. Uh, and the townspeople? What um, are they, are they identifiable? The clothing. And he does have his head, so yeah, he, he, he's a little bit rotten at this point, but it's, it's recognizable to people that would know him. We should maybe find the people that know him. Yes. We carry yes. the body back to town. Burn uh, is there uh, some form of wagon or uh, cart or something can no. use? No. He does not have no. No. So we put him bleach on him. Yeah. And then we, we go... Can, we can take the blankets off the guy's bed, wrap it up, and carry it up that way. I mean, you definitely get it back to the town, so... Without any yes. trouble. And we burn, uh, we burn the bandit. We burn the hut down. It's a place of evil. Yes. So you think? Uh, so I know. <laughs> um, magic. You yes, said uh, there's some magic going on, apparently. I don't know if it'd be anything like that. As you are traveling back towards Fletcher's Rest, you, in the distance, close by, on the roadway, you feel like you might be followed. Oh, he's you, you get that undead. sense. I mean, we crushed his head and the body. He's Wolverine. Yes. You leave the hut definitely on fire. <laughs> Smoke is in the air. Place is completely in flame. And as you look back, it's not a sense of you see anything, but you kind of sense. Um, Ghost. Within the the bushes, within the the grounds. But then go ahead and give me one Bane intelligence rolls, please. One Bane? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, uh, Zabra and Donovan, both of you see this. Um, Zabra, you see more. So Donovan, you see that there is a wolf that's actually following you. Um, and Zabar, you see that there are two of them that are following you. Probably bit hidden away. Stench. Yeah, probably the stench of the, uh, the body that uh, attacked them. 
Down on. You see the moves? Yeah. I see two. Drop the body and pull the legion over and give me let it front it off. So we're fighting. There's two of them? Yeah, yeah I see two. He sees two, you saw one. Hey Baris. Hello. Um we killed him. Uh, there was did you one... the corpse pile? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I gained one insanity and there was uh, bandits and one townsperson. Uh, towns we are on the way back with the body. I told you. I told um, all of you so much earlier. And we also burned you the, only killed the body. One townsperson. So we, we first said we burned them and now there's two wolves following us along the road. Also, if you want a dagger, there's a dagger for you in the party sheet. If not, I, I'm I taking it. Want it. Uh, then I'm taking it to sell. Also, south. Donovan gets my money. Like Donovan, you now have four silver. Okay. Uh, you move the last dagger in the party sheet, uh, her. Okay. So as you stop, as you notice that these wolves are following you. Oh yeah, uh, and the two wolves following. Yeah, so two is following you. As you stop to possibly figure out what to do with this, um, you can see their bodies behind a couple of bushes at, when they're visible at that point, and they're pacing back and forth. Um, you start to hear a bit of the growls as they kind of look in your direction. Back to positions, man. Go on. Hello. Get... Our name is Legion, for we were many. Um, I start banging my axe against the shield. Dude, like... Give me a noise. will roll at two bane. Does that intimidate him? Donovan, try the same. Could I try to do the same thing, Hersk? Sure. Shoo him away. I'll be at one bane. That's oh, right. I'll be at uh, three bane now, though. Zoinks. Is that how far, far away the wolves? They're attacking us? No, they're following. But they're close enough to be heard and seen. I will say they're about... We'll give them 15 yards. We'll give them 15 yards to a centimeter. Two meters. Like two yards? Fifteen yards, not two. Oh, fifteen yards, okay. The, the two yards would be like right in front of you. So. Oh, so uh, basically they can't like surprise attack. No, you, you you know they're there, so. Um, I can scare them away. Oh, yeah. Wait, didn't they use that magic already? Do you know how my magic works? Martin, didn't you say you can only use it once per day? I don't know how my magic works. That's what you said. My level ones, yes. I um, have like nine spells per day. He can do a lot oh, of spells. It, it's not a level one. So, yeah, I, I know thirteen. I can do thirteen spells per day. Jesus. Okay, go ahead. Um, if they keep following us while we move away, I will uh, reach out the hand and... They will be following. Katush and fire a burning beam at one of them. Okay. See if that scares away. Yeah, Dude, forest no fire. Burn the whole forest. I, yeah, because apparently my attacks burned down. Thanks. You set the ground on fire. It's, I treat the same way I do burning hands, pretty much. But it's a laser. Lasers don't make... Fires. Wait. It's a burning beam! That specifically says you can target an object! I'll take a look at it, but it's... That's my initial reaction. I might change it afterwards. I'll take a look. So. I know, I, but I mean, if, if I don't miss, I set things on fire, I'm never going to use this spell. Well, if we are in like, the... Like, out here, I wouldn't worry about it. Because it's a no, death I mean, force, but like... In, anywhere, if, if there's a chance that my spells set the environment on fire, I'm not going to use on. it. Let me go read the spell. What if you were in a stone castle? What is it from? Is it from fire? Celestial. 
Oh, it's from Celestial. Okay. Uh, I need that to get to their agility. Oh, I didn't see a Celestial. It, it does. It does say a fiery beam leaps from your hand. I'm, I'm but if I miss and I set things on fire, I'm yeah. never going to use it. That is that is kind of wonky. Uh, is there a similar spell in fire? Yes. Tell you what, I didn't realize it was celestial. Uh, I would say because of that, I'm probably gonna rephrase it then to where it's not gonna be a fiery beam. It'll be like a lightness type beam, okay. or a, a radiant yeah, beam. Also, its its special effect is uh, on a twenty plus attack roll, the target becomes blinded for a round. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I didn't I, I didn't like look at it was celestial. So in that case, since it's not best of fire, I'll do that, uh, Jericho. So yeah. yeah. So in this case, there'll be it, no chance of uh, light on fire. Just the way they worded it just had me really look at that way. But yeah, you're fine to use yeah, that spell. Then. The whole school is based around light magic. Yeah. Actually, I didn't, really, I didn't look at the celestial thing. So yeah, you can definitely use it for uh, non-fire explosions. Okay. Uh, and then I need to make a will check. Oh. Ooh, all right. I guess they're blinded too. Yeah. So he takes d6 and is blinded for a round. Three damage and he's blinded. All right, I'll blind both of them because it just makes sense to do that. So they'll both go ah! and run away uh, as they are intensely blinded by this beam of this yeah, radiant this light funny. that came out of uh, the Donovan and strikes. Where's it come? Where, where's it in knack from? Where does it originate from? I shoot it from my like a hand. I okay. man stuff. Okay, so you shoot like Iron Man style, and yeah, it, they both scream in their wolf and tongue, and just run away, uh, yelping in pain. And you see them as they do this, they stumble over each other, one runs into a tree, another one just like falls in bushes, as they just scramble away. Okay. You make it back to Fletcher's rest. And immediately as you're approaching the, the town, a couple other people, in fact, the, the captain, not the captain, but one of the the grizzled veterans in One for Forgotten War, um, the one that seems more experienced than all of you, but has the gimp leg, he comes in and he goes, Damn, where'd you find him? It seems the uh, local, uh, yeah. Languageless woodcutter had killed him, stuffed him. Well, killed him. Really, you took out the woodcutter. He had a, a much blood on his hands. Many of it was bandit blood. So he killed some of us and some of the bandits. Maybe we, yeah, right. He killed people. No, oh, I, I don't have anything against you killing the man if he kills some of our people. Ugh. It is still well, that's one less thing on is the road to not? deal with. Thank you. Is it not still a shame? He killed a great many bandits. Uh, three. And he's lived there for, I assume, a long time. Hmm. He's... We will have to think about this. I've heard about him since I was a child here. And that rings a little bit strange to the three of you. Um, that this book has been talked about when this old man, this old about this, this veteran was a child himself here in Fletcher's Rest. What do I miss? We came back with the puppy. And you scared away the wolves? I shot them, yes. With his Hundreds. burning beam, which I'm wanting to rename because that just makes no sense. It's sunburn. Yeah, I guess it worked that way. Because later on I could do like radiation damage and that kind of thing. Wait, so you're a cancer wizard? I am a cancer wizard, yes. <laughs> And we we are in the town. Are we speaking to someone? Well, yes. I appreciate you bringing the body back. As he palms you uh, two silver coins. Happy Maybe we can give him a proper burial now. Yeah. 
as uh, much as all of us all is just the, the uh, little gub. But since you did this, might I be able to ask you three for a favor then? Uh, sure. I can't go with the way my leg is. And if you took out this man that we've somewhat come across before, what do you think about going after the bandits? We did that. The bandits have a camp somewhere. There's more of them. They're still taking mm -hmm. out some of the wagons that come here. Do you know where the camp is? Do How many they are? A militia or something? No one's here is going to volunteer for that. As long as they can stay I... within Fletcher's Rest, we don't have the volunteers for that. You have no volunteers to defend your town? We have them to defend the town, but not to go out into the woods looking for them. People are scared of the woods and what's inside there. Hell, that's why no one's ever gone after the woodcutter. Do you have a militia or do you not? It is the duty of the, of, uh, uh, the followers of the new god to defend each other. They defend the town. They defend the town against uh, bandits. Bandits don't attack the town, though. But they will not go out into the woods to look for the bandit camp, which is why I'm asking if you might be able to do it for us. But I can give reward. I can, I can offer three gold. Three gold? We can fix this. Yes, I can do quite a lot for three gold. But uh, what uh, if we accompany the militia? Are they more willing to come with us then? I can ask for volunteers, but I highly doubt they will. It's a town of cowards. It's a town of people trying to survive. That means cowards. not sticking their neck out to kill people that's not in their direct way right now, then you can call them cowards they as much as you want. But... From your town, including people of the town. They got no they hope. Are... They are attacking convoys which bring up supplies. What if uh, this air suddenly don't have enough food for everyone? What if these people starve because they attack the supply wagons. That's a future event. They do not think far enough ahead of that. This is a terrible town. So it's better to uh, try and uh, attack them if when they are starving and weak, and not now while they have strength. They should plan ahead better in that case. Look, I'm coming to you because you have more means than anyone here. Is this something you think you could do for us? How many of them are there? Do you know? Just as much as you know when he came back, not many survived. No one survives. You're the only survivors we've had so far from the attacks. Because that, if there are 20 or 30 of them, we are not going to be able to do it alone. Well, they never attacked okay. the town directly, so there can't be more than a dozen. If Plus the ones that have been they, killed so far. If we find their camp, would you guys be more willing to come then? We will be uh, ambushing them. If you find the camp, there might be a better chance of getting militia here to stop the attacks. That might be true. But they're not gonna. These people already know aren't gonna go out into the wilderness looking for it if they don't know where it's at. Then Donovan, I think we should go and scout for these bandits. But try right. not to attack them. Very well. Okay. Yeah, that's my hard cut. Yeah. yeah. That's Same. a good place to cut the game. Yeah. Um, you said we got two silver and for yeah. all of us? He already passed it out. Uh, well, I did the six silver for the bodies, um, but the two silver I did not pass out, so one of you could take that. Uh, my share of it goes to Donovan. So if I take uh, one silver, I let Donovan have one silver. He basically speaks for the Legion in the case. Donovan makes all of my economic decisions. Technically, he handed the money to me. That's true. Donovan, how are you separating up the cash? Okay, I'll make it easy. Let's do this. You always make this Wait a boring. minute, that's not, that's not right amount. We'll go with it, it was actually three silver, <laughs> not, not two. You always make this boring, Hersk. <laughs> Let me kill him. 
It's fun to yeah. distribute the wealth. Fine, um, I won't do it I... this way no more. Come on. I'm also gonna sell to Ned. Well, guess. no, because it's rarely equally distributed. I know. All right. Anyway, I'm ending the stream here. And done. And Sorry. this was a uh... right, stream end. I told you to end. End stream. I am sorry I kept dipping in and out. Yeah, shit happens. Uh, it's okay. Shit happens. I don't I don't feel that